Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to paint monochrome florals, so let's do it! Okay, so to start, I'm just going to go through my materials. Today I'm using B watercolor paper. Um, it's this one. I'm just using it because I have it on hand and it's already pre-cut, so it's pretty easy to use. I have my Winsor Newton Cotton watercolors and I have my Princeton snap brush in a size 10 water paper towel and we're ready to start. So we're gonna be doing a monochrome floral bouquet kind of thing. Now this is really great to do um, to practice different values of light and dark watercolor. And so before you start, you may wanna get a scrap piece of paper first and just practice um, going from light to dark gradients, just so you can kind of get the hang of it. This does take practice. So if you've watched some of my other videos, um, I've kind of explained in some of the beginner ones of how to go from a dark to a light value. So for this video, the color I'm picking is Payne's Gray. So to get a dark value of a color, you're just gonna kind of saturate your brush in that color, okay? So you have more paint than water and you should get a nice dark shade. Now to go from a darker color to a slightly lighter color, what you're gonna do is you're going to dip your brush in your water so it takes off some of the paint, run it against the side, and then you get a lighter shade, okay? And you can keep doing that to go lighter and lighter, okay? And this is just something good to practice. So I suggest you start off with just practicing that if you haven't done that before. Okay. Um, also, if you wanna practice, instead of going just from your brush to the water to get lighter and darker shades. So I'm just gonna clean up my palette a bit. Now say you make a nice dark shade here, okay. And you want to go lighter using your palette but you already have so much there wash off your brush so you get all that pigment off add more water and then it will become lighter okay wash off your brush again add more water okay and that's how you get lighter um, values of the paint on your palette okay so that's a good exercise to practice and then when you're done that you can start painting your florals. So I'm gonna start off, what I really wanna to do to achieve this painting is using contrast. So we're gonna have dark um, flowers and light flowers side by side. You really want them to pop. You don't want it dark, 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 or light, light, light everywhere, right? So you're gonna to wanna to mix it up. So I'm just gonna start off with a dark shade. And always remember you can add darkness after too um, by doing some color bleeds. So I'm gonna start off just with a plain rose with a dark kind of shade. And it's not gonna be too dark to start. If you want more of a tutorial on the actual flowers, I have other videos on that. So just keep that in mind. So I go lighter as I go around. Just making C curves. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of the dark paint right from the palette and I'm just gonna tap it in there on that wet paint. Now, if your paper's already dry, you might not get that nice color blend. And I'm gonna be honest, with B paper, I'm not as fond of it as I am with arches. I feel like it dries a bit too fast. Not as fast as Canson, but not like Arches. Arches stays wet a lot longer and I really like that. Okay, so we have a medium tone flower here. I think I'm gonna make a darker one over here. Um, so I'm just gonna take this. I'm gonna do kind of like an anemone <laughs> flower. So I'm just gonna do a petal and then another petal. And this one's gonna be kind of facing off 
to the side a bit. So if you haven't caught my tutorial on perspectives, look that up too. I'm just gonna tap some darker bits in there. Yeah, I'm not a fan of how this paper blends. It's not, it's not awful, but it's not the greatest, I'm gonna be honest. right there. Just gonna tap some darker bits in there. So we have a light flower with a dark center, then we have like a medium kind of dark flower there. And I think I'm gonna do the center darker, but I want this part to dry first. Okay, I'm gonna do some light ones. So I'm just taking all that paint off my brush and grabbing mostly water. And I think I'm gonna do kind of like a, a peony shape. I want it even lighter than this. Just rough. And I'm gonna add a bit of the darkness at the bottom. Maybe some up here. So adding those shadows will really make your piece pop too and give it some nice contrast. Okay. And I'm just gonna take some dark bits and I'm just going to do the center like that. Okay, now I'm gonna do some darker leaves. And because they're beside lighter florals, I'm gonna do them darker for some nice contrast. But this is just a really great exercise just to practice your light and dark values. And you don't need a ton of colors, you only need one, okay? So yeah, I'm putting those dark leaves by the lighter petaled flowers. And then this one's kind of dark, so I'm gonna go lighter here. See what I mean? Maybe. actually isn't bad. <laughs> I love when I do something and it just works out. And trust me, that doesn't happen often. I've never done like a monochrome floral piece before. So this is actually quite interesting. I'm just gonna add some darkness over here. And then you can always add some light little buds too. You can go as light as you can. Just take all that water off. Okay, and then get, maybe get a dark stem so the bottom bleeds into those buds. You can use a smaller brush for that too if you have one. Okay, I'm going to add the center of this anemone one, so I'm just going to do a dotted circle and then dots around like that. You can always use a smaller brush for this part too. And just keep going until you think you're done. Uh, I think, 
think that's pretty decent. <laughs> and yeah, just keep practicing. Do a bunch of these and you know, you don't have to pick like a gray color. You could do all navies or maybe all pinks and you can use different shade of pinks. You don't have to use just one, right? Monochrome is just one color, but you can do different shades, right? So you could do like orangey pinks with more purpley pinks and I don't know. But yeah, experiment with it. And if you can, share it on Instagram with me. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for more. Oh, have a great day guys. Bye. Say bye bye.